St George's Day today then, and if you haven't quite got around to hanging up the red and white stripy bunting, it would seem you're not alone. New research has shown that people living in England appear to be shy of celebrating the country's national day. With Scotland gearing up for a referendum on breaking away from the Union and St Patrick's Day becoming bigger and bigger with each passing year, is it time English people embrace their heritage and wave the flag with pride? I'm joined by Chairman of the English Democrats, Robin Tilbrook. Robin, thank you for joining me. No, hello, Louise, and happy St George's Day. And a very happy St George's Day to you. So can you start thank by you. telling us then, what does this research tell us about people's attitude towards St George's Day kind of in general across the country? Yes, well, in England, um, what our research shows is that the percentage of people who don't know when St George's Day is is 53%. Um, and the percentage of people who don't actively celebrate St George's Day is 89%. Uh, but the pe- percentage of people who are proud of our national day is 23%. And the percentage of people who know the history behind St George's Day is 15%. So that's a little bit sad, really. Why do you think people don't get excited about St George's Day in the same way as they do, for example, about St Patrick's Day? Is it because our beer isn't good enough? <laughs> no, but I don't think it's that. But um, what it is, I think, is that we don't get any official encouragement, really, for St George's Day. If anything, it's official discouragement of it. Whereas if you think about St Patrick's Day, of course, that gets um, enormous official encouragement, not only in Ireland, um, but even in England, it um, often gets much more encouragement um, officially and from um, local authorities and so on than uh, St George's Day does. And uh, there's also the question of... uh, um, commercial support because um, St Patrick's Day has an enormous uh, f- support from um, Guinness, whereas um, the um, English breweries are only really just beginning to wake up to the idea of St George's Day. And um, uh, this year we've got um, Bombardier pushing um, St George's Day, which is a, a good thing. Well, yeah, absolutely. If it's if it's a real hell, that's what we like. But uh, mm. what do you think the reason is? What why why is that so? Well, yeah, I think I think it's um, it, it is this uh, question of official encouragement. But at the same time, if you think about um, uh, the way that um, Englishness is um, discussed and taught at schools, um, you, you get almost nothing about English history or about Englishness at, at a school in England. Whereas if you went to a school in Scotland, you'd get Scottish history and, and Scottishness um, taught you. Uh, in England, if they're going to teach anything along those lines, then it's going to be Britishness. But the interesting thing is that um, the the statistics are showing that people are changing in England. Um, In the 2011 census, uh, we had over 60%, that was over 32 million people, said that they were English only. Um, And less than uh, 30% said that they were in any sense British. So even in England... Uh, we are get we are moving in the same direction as has already happened in Scotland and Wales, and of course, it makes sense because if the, if the Scots feel themselves Scottish and the Welsh feel themselves Welsh, the English can't be British all on their own. <laughs> That's quite true. I'm just trying to think now. You're saying that what I declared myself as on the 2011 <laughs> census. Um, what about all the, you know, when we have a, a year when there's a really big reason to get behind England? Like, for example, we've got a World Cup year this year. Does that change attitudes at all? Well, I think it does. Um, uh, I think you, you'll, you'll see a lot of um, crosses of St George flying for the World Cup, um, if we, certainly if the England team does well. Um, and, um, of course, uh, this year is particularly interesting um, from the point of view of um, thinking about the, the nations of um, the United Kingdom. Because, of course, we've got the Scottish uh, independence referendum on the 18th of September. Um, And in the build-up to that, we've got the Commonwealth Games, where we play as separate teams. Um, And, of course, the uh, Scottish government's looking forward to uh, uh, celebrating the uh, victory of the Scots over the English at Bannockburn. So what are you actually encouraging people to do this St George's Day then? Well, we always encourage people to celebrate it. And we, we, we say um, that uh, if you've got a flag, flagpole, you should be flying the cross of St George. Um, and um, if you haven't, then uh, fly it out of the window or whatever. So that just to show people that it, this is a special day for England. Um, and uh, wear your uh, red rose with pride. Um, and of course, um, get out there and, and celebrate and enjoy the day. Sounds like a good idea. And can I ask what you will be doing to celebrate, Robin? Well, I, I, I've got my red rose just here. Um, I've got a Cross of St George flag flying outside my house and um, I shall certainly be celebrating um, with a, a nice pint of English beer. Sounds like a great thing to do. Thanks ever so much Thank for chatting much. to me.